So you want to create Trello cards for new JIRA issues so that you can keep a record of all the JIRA issues? But how will you do that? Well, that's where Automate.io comes in. It's a simple tool to connect your favorite web apps like JIRA, Trello, and hundreds more. To begin, visit this page, click on our use case box, and click on the Get Started button. On the Add Account screen, you will add your JIRA and Trello accounts to Automate.io. Authorize these apps by clicking on the Add button and entering your credentials. We always keep your data secure with Bank Global Encryption. After successfully authenticating your apps, you will land on the Configure page. On this page, you will configure the specific data that you want to transfer from JIRA to Trello. First, let's focus on JIRA, our trigger app. It tells us when you want your automation to start. And please note, you can also automate even more of your work in JIRA by using these different triggers that you see here. And now coming to Trello, our action app. This tells us what's the end result we would like from our automation. And remember, you can change these actions as well for different use cases. However, for this automation to work, you will need to fill in the right value in the required input fields for Trello. And these fields are board. Here, you will list the Trello board in which you want your card to be created. And list. This is the list in which you want the card to be added. Additionally, you can even choose which team member's board the card needs to be created for and set a due date for it. To proceed to the next stage, click Done. In this stage, you will test your newly created automation, which we will call a bot. We will now test our bot by creating a new issue in JIRA. Perfect. And if we check out our Trello board, we can see our newly created card. So if you want to try out this automation quickly, click on the link in the description below. And remember, we're available 24-5 on our in-app chat, or you can always email us directly at help at automate.io. And don't forget to subscribe to us.